All right, here we are in Excel, and we are ready to get started. Uh, my workbook is already set up. I've got some data. I've got a lot of formatting in, mean, standard deviation, and our sample count. I highly recommend um, that you download this workbook. Link in the description. Go ahead, download that. Um, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And the math will already be done, so if you want to use it, go ahead. Or if you want to follow along, just delete it a little bit of the data and work right alongside of me. So the first thing we're going to start with is sorting our data. And we're going to sort in ascending order. And we're just going to take that whole data column. And there we go. Everything's sorted. Next, we're going to need this MI, this normal score. So pretty easy to calculate this. We'll do norm.s.inv. And then our probability is going to be I minus 0.375 divided by N. And then we're going to absolute reference that, plus 0.25, OK? So there we go. And let's double click to fill all the way down. So the next thing that we're going to calculate is our AI column. And AI is a piecewise function that starts with AN. So we're going to actually have to start all the way down at the bottom. And everything else is pretty contingent on that. So because of that, um, this only this workbook that we made only works for samples of 30. So if you have a sample size that's below 30 or above 30, this won't work. Um, if you want to use samples that are, are a different size, I highly recommend using QE Suite. Um, QE Suite is a great add-in that performs all of this math for you every time super easily. Um, there's a link in the description and in the cards that will show you how to get your free trial started um, in just a few minutes. Super easy. I highly recommend it. Um, let me show you just how quick it is. Um, so to do the Royston, you would just do qe.royston.shapiro.wilk, select your data, and I'm going to hide my um, QQ plot. And look at that. Just like that, we already have our Royston Shapiro Wilk. Super cool. Okay. So you're here to learn the math. Let's get back to it. So like I said, we're starting with AN, and this is kind of a pain equation, but we need a couple things first. So the first thing that we're going to need is U. If you remember from the PowerPoint, U is just 1 over the square root of N. Yes. Awesome. We're also going to need that capital M. Capital M is the sum square of our mi values. So we take that. Awesome. We have m, we have u, we have mn. Let's get started. So an equals negative 2.706056 times power of u. So we raise that to the fifth. And now we're going to say plus 4.434685 times power, and I'll just do L3, which is U, to the fourth, minus 2.07119 times power of L3, again, that's U, to the third, minus 0 0.14, whoops, 47981 times power of L, L3 squared, and then we're going to add 0 0.221157 times L3, which is U. And then we're going to add our MN divided by the square root of capital M. Enter. All right, there we go. We have our MN minus, our AN minus 1 value. Now let's do A of N minus 1, which is negative 3.5. 82633 times power. Again, that's going to be L3 to the fifth plus 5.682633 times power of L3 to the fourth minus 1.752461 times power L3 to the third minus 0 0.293762 times power of L3 squared plus 0 0.042981 times L3. And this time our final term is going to be M of N minus 1 
divided by square root of, we're going to do L2 because we know that is our capital M value, and there we go. Okay, so now that we have an and an minus 1, we can do a of 1, which is just negative an. Then we're going to do negative an minus 1 to get a 2. Okay, so now to get everything in between, our, our equation is ai equals mi over square root of epsilon. So that's this e here. We need to calculate epsilon. Now I have it broken up into a numerator and denominator just to make things a little bit easier. So we'll start with the numerator. And the numerator is capital M minus two times the power of MN squared minus two times the power of MN minus one squared, enter. And then our denominator is very similar. It's one minus AN minus Oops, 1 minus 2 times the power of a n squared minus 2 times the power of a n minus 1 squared. Enter. And then we just take our numerator divided by our denominator to give us epsilon. Then a i is pretty easy. It's just going to be m i divided by the square root of epsilon absolute reference with f4 and enter. Now I'm going to double click and that's going to fill us all the way down there. Wonderful, there we go. So now that we have our ai column, we can calculate our w test statistic by taking and I'm going to first do power of coral of yi and ai. Close that parentheses raise it to the power of 2, enter, and there we go, 0.9571, which is exactly what we got from QE Suite. So how do we turn that into a p-value? Well, we're going to first have to derive this mu and sigma to get z. So mu is going to be 0. Whoops, equals 0 0.0038915 times the natural log, and here we'll actually, power of the natural log of n cubed minus 0 0.083751 times power natural log of n squared minus 0 0.31082 times the natural log of n minus 1.58 861. Awesome, there's our mu, and now we're going to do sigma. Sigma equals exp of 0 0.0030302 times power natural log of n squared. Then minus 0 0.082676 times, oops, Got it. Okay, let's double check. So exp 0 0.0038, whoops, wrong one, 0 0.0030302 power ln n squared minus 0 0.082676 times natural log of n minus 0 0.4803. Yep, I'll accept that. And now we have mu and sigma. Let's calculate our z value. So our z value is going to be the natural log of 1 minus w minus mu divided by sigma. There we have a z value between 0 and 1. Wonderful. So our p value is 1 minus norm dot s dot dist of that z value true. Look at that, 0 0.260695, just like what we got in QE Suite. Well, that's it for the Royston Shapiro Wilk test. Um, reminder, this works all the way up to 5,000 samples unless you're using this workbook. This workbook can only handle exactly 30. QE Suite is going to be a great solution. Make sure to go get started on your two-month free trial. Um, Go check out some of these other videos. We have a lot of great, great resources on engineering statistics. Please let us know if you've got any questions on 
any of it, we love to help. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.